Hey loves, this is your girl Pink here doing a What's in My Bag video. And this is the first What's in My Bag video that I'm doing for 2017. And it's so cool doing these. My first video on YouTube was a What's in Your Bag video or What's in My Bag, either way. And I definitely have a few of the same items that are going to be inside of this bag. But for the most part, I do switch up things, rehome things, or just honestly tuck them away. Which I'm trying to get out of the habit of having so many things that I don't use for such a long period of time. So I have kind of given myself this little guideline. And if I don't use something within a certain length of time, I definitely part ways with it and get something that I love. And I haven't done a few videos um well I haven't done a video in a few months other than my um last couple of videos they were the first for 2017 and I think I didn't do anything towards the bottom half of 2016 so basically I do have a couple of new things but for the most part guys everything is stuff that I've had in either a collection video or another what's in my bag However, I did want to share this bag with you guys because last year I did a um, video on a purchase that I made for a Louis Vuitton um, MM bag that was pre-owned and it was the Neverfull. Got the bag, thought I was going to love it because I had the GM before and it was too huge. So I figured I'd get an MM. It'd be the perfect tote for travel purposes, carry on luggage piece. Um, just the day that I'm going to Starbucks and I needed to take my laptop or I'm having a business meeting and I needed everything in one place because it fits file folders, every single thing you can think of you can just toss it in. So I rehomed it because I just wasn't in love with it. So basically I turned around and I got this from TJ Maxx a few days ago on sale for 104 bucks. And now is the time that I was kind of thinking I need a new tote. I really, really need a perfect tote that I can travel with. And I felt like with the spring coming up or with it already being sprinter as my babe and I call it because it's a mix of spring and winter here in Georgia. Um, I wanted something lighter and something fun and cute and I didn't want to be trapped into a higher price designer bag that I was going to feel like I have to use this. I have to carry this because I'm spending hundreds or close to a thousand dollars on it. So I felt like this was the perfect bag. I love the fact that um, Michael Kors used to a lot of the design ideas from Louis Vuitton and I'll get into that as I empty this bag and share with you guys what's inside. The one thing that I don't like about this bag that I can start off saying right away is this particular little hang tag. I just don't like it and I don't know why. It's nothing against um, a bag that has a hang tag on it but I personally I think for me because I was at my own bag charms, maybe that's why I'm just not digging it so much. But, um, just to kind of share with you guys a little trick that I use for most of my open totes. And this one does have a clasp, but it is an open tote, um, nonetheless. I do like to drape a scarf across them when I am traveling on a train or, you know, on a plane or a bus or wherever it doesn't matter if I'm out in public and I know that I'm going to be around a lot of people I'm going to be kind of like distracted and people are kind of bumping into each other I do like to drape a scarf over the top and it's not necessarily poking out of the bag but just kind of covering up the top portion of it so that if someone were to peer inside they couldn't really see what you had and by the time you felt it then you I don't know Okay, anywho, so let me get into the bag. Anybody that does that knows exactly what I mean. So, again, this little scarf that I do drape across the top was just a little $12 Burberry scarf that I purchased on Poshmark. And it is authentic, and I thought, what a great price for a bag. So, this is one of my staple pieces when I travel because I do get cold. I also have my blanket with me that I just did in my video um, a couple of weeks ago. It's right beside me. I'll grab it. 
just to kind of share with you guys if anybody didn't watch it. These cute little Michael Kors um, loafers with the little Hamilton lockets. Guys, these were $49 at TJ Maxx and that's the little TJ Maxx sticker inside of there. And I really love these because they're so cozy. They match every single thing, especially this bag. Um, it's a darker patina, um, darker leather, kind of like the patina of a Louis Vuitton bag. And that was what really drew me into that um, particular style. So basically, um, just a few more things in here. A book that I'm reading, um, The Energy of Money. I have a deodorant from Dove, and I carry this with me, especially when I'm traveling, because it's very creamy and soft, and it smells really, really good. This will last all day, but um, when, again, this is my travel bag, so when I'm traveling, I keep this, soap, um, other things that I like to use to freshen up as I travel because you know how sometimes a long ride just makes you feel icky. Um, I like to keep those things in a Ziploc bag and the soap I keep in a little travel soap case that I got from Target but I put all of those things in one big Ziploc bag. Any body oil or anything that may leak. This little Kate Spade jewelry um, holder and this is where I keep my jewelry when I'm traveling, when I want to take stuff off or put stuff away. Um, especially when I get to my hotel room or wherever I'm staying, I do like everything in that little jewelry holder. This little fossil fold-over case, I think this was something that I had in a video last year. And guys, I definitely still have this and I still use this. I love it so much. This fossil leather smells so amazing. Um, this is the garage door opener for my babe's house. This is my gym membership. I don't think it has anything on it. No. Okay. This is my gym membership with Lifetime Fitness. And I just have it on a little lan lanyard or lanyard. Lanyard. Or actually it's a keychain. It's not even that complicated. Um, and it just came off. It's on a keychain that I got from Charming Charlie. And... I keep my personal care products inside of here. And this is, again, my travel case, guys. Everything in here is travel stuff. So because this bag is going to double as my gym bag now, because that's what I was using my last tote bag for, that's why I have my gym um, membership card inside of it. My, what? Oh, it's unzipped for whatever reason. My Kate Spade planner. And I did not purchase 2017 refills, but I will be getting some soon. I have my Michael Kors wallet. This one I shared with you guys was a $35 purchase. I don't know if you can see the locket. That lock is what I love about the shoes that I have. It just gives it an additional, a little additional character. Um, it's a highlight for me, that lock, for whatever reason, I don't know yet. And I think I'm obsessed with locks and skeleton keys. So I shared this with you guys in a video. Again, it was a $35 consignment store purchase. So I'm going to move my insurance cards, my travel credit cards and stuff like that into this. And I'm going to a Harlem Knights wedding. And so that's what all of this stuff is packed in here for. I have a lot of lipstick in here, guys, different colors, but this is what I'm going to wear for the wedding, and it is a red, it's a glare, Oop, there you go, it's a matte, velvet matte is the name of it, and I got that one from Sally's Beauty Supply Store, and throughout the weekend, I'm going to switch up colors, but that's the color I'm wearing in the wedding, um, for the wedding. It's going to be so pretty. I've already worn it to see how it looks. And I have these little curly um, locks going on because that's another idea that I decided to um, implement for the wedding. My best friend from when we were 15 is getting married. And so I'm definitely going home, a seven-hour drive um, for the wedding. And I can't wait. I'm super excited. 
So the wedding will be coming up in a few weeks. And I'm going to um, pop into town. So I plan to wear my hair kind of pent up in these curls. Um, they're going to be, of course, redone, freshened up or whatever. But this was just a sample so that I could see how they look. So I don't know, guys. I don't know if y'all like this. I thought it was so cute. I've had my hair locked for two years and I've never curled it. And so flexi rods, $1 from Dollar Tree for anybody that's wondering. Um, This feature, guys, is a feature of the Neverfull that I love. You don't have to dig around and hunt for your keys. But because I do keep my keys on a key keeper, which is not in this bag, because, again, this is just the travel stuff that I'm going to have in here. So I'll put my purse inside of here which right now I'm just using a small crossbody so it has my keys my um my actual wallet and a couple of other things in there but this you can put your keys on and me being the hand sanitizer um, queen that I am I have my hand sanitizer bottle on here and this one came from Bath and Body Works and it was so cute it was a little quilted handbag like a little chanel style looking little purse um print and i thought that was so adorable and right now the hand bacteria um the hand back pocket that is what it's called um that i have in here is called hogs and kisses and there's a little pink hog on there or a little pink pig um and these refills are like a dollar you guys and they have glitter in them and they smell so good and i just put them on all day which is very drying for your hands by the way so i also keep some cocoa butter or shea butter or some kind of moisturizer nearby because i slather this stuff on even after i wash my hands it's an addiction that's kind of good and bad i guess but i just toss that back in there and then I also keep whatever perfume that I plan to um, wear. Now, obviously, this is not going on a plane with me. Again, I am, we're driving down. And it's Jimmy Choo Illicit. This is my favorite Jimmy Choo. And I do have the um, a couple of the other different ones. I have the original one with the black top on it. But the Illicit is very, it's a warm note. And I love more wintry warm spicy scents um i like angel and um i can't think of anything else warm that i own right now other than angel but i love stuff like that oh versace crystal noir um i have a lot of a lot of sweeter scents but i do love 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 warmer notes and then i have my beard bradley makeup case this is where i keep all of my essential day-to-day -day makeups like um, my foundation and stuff like that. Um, makeup eye palette that I'm going to try to implement for the wedding to do a Harlem Nights look with more of a um, kind of a shadowy, um, shadowy, more of a smoky effect. <laughs> but I'm going to do a smoky effect with like a color that will complement my red accents for my um, accessories and my shoes. So um, when I say accessories, I mean jewelry because I'm going to wear um, red shoes. I'm going to do a black flapper dress with red shoes. And so I want to kind of make my makeup pop. And that's probably where I'm going to get the most because I'm going to have my hair pinned and I'm going to have the black feather headband on. So I think it's going to be cute. In my mind, it's going to be cute. Hopefully it comes across that way in person. But I have a little coach umbrella that I got from the coach outlet, maybe, oof, I know it was in 2013, now that I think about it. So this one, it has been in my garage actually for a while, and I pulled it out because my son left my favorite Kate Spade umbrella at the basketball court. So I have nothing else to say about a $65 umbrella just disappearing into thin air. So yeah, I, I use that one, but it's smaller. So it does fit in my purse directly when I travel. And um, I also keep it in my glove compartment when I'm not traveling. So I have my beats. I think I showed you guys these before. This was a $50 purchase from Tracy. And um, I think they were $50. And I don't have them in the case because most of the time it's just such a hassle getting them out. 
And I don't keep these with me all the time. Only when I'm traveling, when I want people to know that I'm busy or I'm making it known that I don't want to be disturbed, which is how I behave in public. So if I'm riding a train or plane or something, I have my headphones on, I'm focused. I will even have headphones and a book. So you know, I don't want to talk. I don't want to talk. <laughs> That's just my thing. I just don't like... Um, I'm, I'm a social person. I like to engage. Yes, I do. Obviously, I'm doing a video. I'm doing YouTube. I like to talk. Um, and I like to talk and meet new people. But sometimes you just don't want people to think you're too approachable or too friendly because people take advantage. And so when I'm traveling, especially when I'm riding on a train downtown Atlanta or getting ready to get on an airplane, Hartsville Jackson Airport in Atlanta, anybody who's familiar knows that sometimes, you know, people are on there seeking attention. They don't mind getting into trouble. Um, it's just kind of weird sometimes. So the best thing to do is to appear busy and unapproachable. That's my solution. And so my phone and this back pocket, I love, again, another Louis Vuitton feature. And I'll share you guys, with you guys this tag in just a second. Um, my phone is a Galaxy S7, and I don't think I showed you guys, but look at my adorable Kate Spade little phone case. But anywho, this will fit in the back pocket, so for size purposes, you can't fit a cell phone in there. Um, so I keep my phone in there. I keep little small things that I don't want scattered around, some extra hair ties, and... I always keep the tags to my bags. And so that's in there. And I have my Kate Spade pen from an old Kate Spade collection video. This is my other pair of beads, guys. And these are the beads that I carry with me every day in my purse. And the reason they're attached to my phone right now is because whenever it's time for bed and my baby's here on weekends, then I... I have my headphones on in bed watching YouTube videos. So, <laughs> so not to disturb my partner, I prefer to wear my beats um, or my headphones. And so, again, the big ones are for travel. So I have the little ones on my phone now. That's everything that I have in here. The interior is so roomy and spacious. I love the fact that the bottom has sort of a built-in um, base shaper, which us Louis Vuitton lovers know that you're always running around looking for a base shaper or something to put in the bottom of your bag to give it that um, sturdy structure. This bag is reinforced a lot. It's going to be kind of, there it is, you can see that. Um, all the hardware has Michael Kors on it in gold. And I have Michael Kors bags that are old, old, old like several years old and more than six years old and they still don't tarnish none of the hardware has broken or anything like that not to say that all bags are created equal um this one also has the clasp that the never full has so again like i was saying earlier i put my scarf over the top but you do have room to clasp it and other than that I love the strap drop. I love the fact that the strap has this little detail on it. Um, I don't like the hang tag for whatever reason. I just don't like it. Um, and it was $104 at TJ Maxx purchased last week. So it was on clearance. And I'm assuming that it would be in most places. This is the manufacturer's suggested retail price, $248. And the TJ Maxx original price was, I think, $179 or $129. But um, I took that tag off and um, the TJ Maxx's tag, which was right here. So, yeah, guys, that is all I have um for you for this video i thought maybe the tag was here but it isn't that's all i have with you guys for this video tonight just wanted to share it with you guys i love the fact that the 
leather is not going to necessarily patina because it's already treated. Not that I don't like the patina because I do actually love it. The thing that I, um, the thing that I do love about the pre-treated leather though, is you don't have to worry about it in different weather elements or whatever. And so guys, other than that, um, I did say that I would show you guys my blanket that I use for travel purposes. This was in another video that I did recently. This is the underside. And this is what I like to use as the top of the blanket. And it's just a little handmade Indian blanket. So when I'm traveling, I will be tossing this inside of the bag as well, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, have a great, awesome day and a great week. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace and namaste.